Hey guys, Nabil here. The King of Fighters 15 is in development and the game is coming next year, 2020. Uh, we, don't, we don't have a lot of information about the game except that it's going to be using Unreal Engine 4 and that graphically it will look the best in terms of SNK fighting games to date, even better than Samurai Showdown. But other than that, we don't know really much. So in this video, I am going to list the top five things I want to see in the King of Fighters 15. Now let's let's make one thing clear. I am not going to be talking about gameplay. I'm not going to be talking about characters. Uh, we'll have other videos when we talk about what type of gameplay I would want in the new King of Fighters. So these features it basically are things that will make the game more appealing, that will make it stand out more. And it again has nothing to do with gameplay modes or balance or anything like that. I'm not even going to talk about characters now. Now that we mentioned that, let's go ahead and list the top 5 things Neo Geo now would like to see in the King of Fighters 15. Number 5. Stage Intros Okay, now there's a reason why this is at the bottom of the list, and that reason being is that this one is for nostalgia factor. I am almost 37 years now and I can still remember that feeling the first time I saw these amazing stage intros that the King of Fighters 94 um, had you know like where you you had either the door opening the elevator going up in the Mexico stage or all you know like the going through the forest and the Ikari warrior stage it, it, it's not important gameplay wise obviously but it's just looked amazing now the stage intros were a staple for the series from the King of Fighters 94 up to the King of Fighters 96. They were heavily toned down in 97 and 98 and then completely removed from 99 onwards. Now with the new game using um, apparently some state of the art graphics, it will be really cool if we get these um, stage intros back. Number 4. A more robust story mode. Now I'm pretty sure I will get a lot of hate for this one, since as you know the common saying, who plays a fighting game for its story? Well, you would be surprised. I for one think a good story adds depth to the game experience, making it more fun and interesting. A fighting game with a story mode was a wishful thing back in the days, but thanks to Netherrealm Studios who shook the market with the Mortal Kombat reboot and the really extensive story mode that they did in the Mortal Kombat 9, X, 11 and the Injustice series, and every fighting game now offers some sort of story mode. In fact, King of Fighters 14 tried to do something similar, except that that felt more of a, a arcade mode than a story mode. Now with the new King of Fighters, um, and with, with the King of Fighters known for its interesting and complex yet coherent story, it would be really a shame if SNK did not invest in a well thought story mode that offers more than a what-if scenario that the usual arcade modes offer. Number 3. Cell-shaded anime-like graphics When the King of Fighters 14 was first shown to the public, uh, let's just say that the visual impressions it has gotten, it has gotten were not very kind, and you guys know that. Uh, people were used to the 2D sprites at the time in the gorgeous animation of King of Fighters 13 and were very disappointed to see the game taking a fully 3D model route and not a good one. Um, it's true that things got better with the graphical patch upon release, but let's be let's be honest, King of Fighters 14 is not a good looking game, even though I love the game itself uh, from a gameplay perspective, um, characters, um, and, and all uh, pretty much everything except for the, the look. I know that you, me, and everyone who grew up in the 90s will hope that the King of Fighters 15 will have 2D hand-drawn sprites, but, but, but the fact of the matter is that it won't. It, that's not happening. We're not gonna have a proper 2D fighting game in a very long time, if ever. Now a great compromise that will make everyone happy is for SNK to adopt the 2.5D or the cell shaded art style. This is the same style first shown with Guilty Gear XRD and then perfected in the Dragon Ball Fighter uh, Z uh, by by Bandai Namco Bandai. Now the King of Fighters franchise always felt very anime inspired, and using anime like cel shaded art style will only bring more newcomers to the series, which is what happened with uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. 
Number 2. Simultaneous release on all major consoles and PC. When the King of Fighters 14 was released, it did so as a platform exclusive to the PlayStation 4. While a lot of people owned the PlayStation 4, it tr I truly believe that it was a big mistake for SNK to only target one player base. Things were worse when SNK decided to release the PC version almost a year later, uh, on the same week as Tekken 7, which is really def definitely was a terrible move, and it did not have any crossplay with the PlayStation 4 version. Now, when King of Fighters 15 is released next year, it really needs to be on all major platforms and PC at the same time. Let's just stop, you know, shafting the PC player base. Uh, now, SNK is doing a great thing with Samurai Showdown, almost they're releasing it on all major consoles during the same year, just not at the same time. So I'm really hoping with the King of Fighters 15 that we will have the game released everywhere and all the console at the time, even if we have a PlayStation 5 by then and to have it available at the same time. Number one, crossplay between different consoles. Now having the King of Fighters 15 release on all major platforms is a great first step, but one that will be only successful if SNK implements crossplay between them. Capcom has done that with Street Fighter 5 and Namco followed suit with Tekken 7 because King of Fighters audience is relatively small compared to these mentioned titles Dividing the small player base is a big mistake. Just look at how empty the King of Fighters 14 online lobbies are on Steam. With the recent rumbling that Sony and Microsoft are really thinking about having cross-platform on and cosplay on many titles, and with it actually happening with Fortnite, we definitely want to see the King of Fighters 15 use this feature to keep a healthy player base going. Now these were my top 5, again, nothing game gameplay related, nothing um, characters related, or system, etc. So what did you guys think about these 5 things? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree uh, on some of them or all of them? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you like this video, please like, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, thank you for watching.